Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So we are finally moved into the new house and I decided to show you guys how I was setting up the filming room. I actually set this up in a different location. Where I'm sitting right now is the final result. So this is what it will look like in future videos, but it took a minute for me to get to this point. And I definitely discussed that when we're setting things up and moving things around. And it, it just, it feels good to finally be situated. I mean, granted, there's still things that I need to get taken care of and put in their place and pictures still need to end up on the walls. But for the most part, I have a general idea of how the room's gonna be set up. Now you guys, before we jump into it, if you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below, hit the bell for notifications of new videos, and if you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. But if you wanna see how I'm setting up my beauty room, just keep watching. Okay, you guys, so we moved in here probably about, I guess it's been a week now. And this is the filming room. I got some things set up. And so I've got my table set up right here. I have my drawers set up right here, but I have been noticing when I've been getting ready in the morning that <laughs> this window right here, it blinds the crap out of me. So as much as I thought this was gonna be my setup, <laughs> it is not. And I need to move everything around. I think I'm gonna put my table right here in front of this window, as well as the drawers. And then I think the bookshelves are gonna go right here for my eyeshadows. And then what you guys can't see, and I'm trying to be as steady as possible. So, oh, there's a little floof. So that is the view that I have when I'm getting ready, is Sochu and her cat castle. She's like, what are you doing? But she hangs out with me in here. I like having her. She'll just kind of relax and take a nap. But I think this will be, I have no idea what I'm gonna do right there. Maybe do like a little chair and some artwork and maybe a little table to have like a sitting nook for when I do some like informal type of things and I don't need the full filming setup. And then of course we have the hallway so I can close the door or whatever and you probably don't care about the rest of that. <laughs> but this is what we are working with. Even some of this stuff doesn't necessarily go into this room. Oh, and these right here are the curtains that had been above the big window. And oh, by the way, this room used to be Barbie pink, but I spent two nights painting all of it. I'm going to set you where you can see and I'm gonna start moving some things around. <laughs> it wasn't focused on this camera the entire time. I only put it up there so I had my light this morning to do my makeup and I don't know if you can hear it outside right now but it is torrential downpour which is why I was like oh let me put my filming room together and then so too is playing around down here somewhere. Honey what are you doing? She's exploring. But I think this is where the bookshelves are gonna be for right now. This is where the drawers will be and then the desk right in front of it. This door, in case anyone asks, that's my walk-in closet for the room that has a bunch of clothes in it. So that is not where I'm gonna be storing makeup. And then I don't know what the rest of the room's gonna be. Also, a tip for when you're like moving and stuff. No, I don't have an alcohol problem. I do like alcohol. But if you don't wanna spend a lot of money at like Home Depot purchasing boxes. The ABC stores, liquor stores, depending on what you've got in your state, you gotta remember, alcohol is usually in heavy, thick glass bottles, which makes those boxes the best for transporting heavy items like eyeshadow palettes or makeup or whatever you have that's super heavy, like your dishes and your glasses. And if she tries to, are you trying to hurdle that, honey? I love her to death. She is the sweetest. But there's nothing on top of the desk which stops her from getting up there. So apparently she's going to try and clean it. Okay, now I need to get this table turned. It's just like a jigsaw puzzle. Thankfully carpet makes it really easy to slide heavy boxes on because I can't lift a lot of this right now. 
I found out from my MRI, and it'll be probably a story time, get ready with me, but I have a herniated disc, so I didn't do a lot of lifting during the move. Also, these IKEA tabletops, very easy to like make your desk bigger or smaller, and I probably will get a bigger version of this so I can make my desk a little bit bigger, but they're also really light. I did tell you guys that when I set up in this room, I was gonna give more distance between myself and the drawers. That way, I'm not like right up on them when I'm filming. It's a little warm right now. I wish the fan was on, but it makes some noise. I will play around with the setup. For right now, this is how I think it's going to be. It is a lot more distance between the filming room and everything than last time, but there is an open plug over here that I would be able to link all of my stuff and have it plugged in instead of trying to link it back behind me, which is kind of what messes up the distance and ratio, but we'll play around with it. For right now, I think this is the setup. Let's go ahead and put this back on. And this just needs to go in the center of the table. All right, I had to turn the fan on. It is very warm, even with the AC on, as I start to move around. And I put a hoodie on because I was cold earlier. That's not the case anymore. There's that. I need two more lights. Okay, and now these two stanchions are for the lights and they'll just go right on the corner, which makes it super easy. I put them on the corner as much as I can. There will be overhang, which I'm not worried about because there's still gonna be like a little ledge right here. It's easy. And that's the other thing is the monitor, I can actually move the bracket over. It's not too much of an inconvenience. I'm just going to loosen it up, move it over a little bit. And then now everything is aligned. That actually can probably come back a little bit. That'll be for my laptop. So monitor, laptop, if I set it up. Otherwise I can put my iPad or something there. The cool thing about my lights, they have individual carrying bags. I was looking to see if they had one that would fit all three of them, but I didn't find anything. That doesn't mean that another brand doesn't have it. I just didn't look very hard. I do like that, so it tells you exactly where the base goes because there's two holes. There is another hole up here, so if I wanted to do double mounted or something else on top of this, I have the option to do that. I'm gonna finish this one up and then take a break because I was supposed to meet some friends and I might be a little bit late. I'll probably wake up in the morning and finish working on this. <laughs> what are you doing? So true. Well, that is it for now. You will see me in part two when I kind of get the rest of my act together. Okay, you guys, so this is how the room looks and I thought there was going to be like a day two of unpacking and putting things away but it's a little overwhelming and as much as I want to unpack and put things away with you guys there's there's a lot of boxes and I'm not even sure where to start so I'm gonna show you what I've got so far and then we're going to close this video off okay so we have my bookshelves that are going to have my eyeshadow palettes and my little skin care fridge. We have my filming set up and there's little so too. She's been trying to get into my closet. She likes to hide in there, but I won't let her in and she's not thrilled about it. What are you doing? You just here for the show? So then we have the filming set up, cam or the TV, camera. I say TV, it's a monitor. There's no... TV in that. And then Sochi's Cat Castle. I do have these curtains right here. I don't know if you can really see them. They're supposed to go over this bay window, but I'm not sure if I'm going to put them back up. I haven't decided. And then the other reason I'm not sure about unpacking and putting things away, some of this stuff is not even for the makeup room. Like these are bathing suits and purses and they go in the closet and then like these bags right here are actually shoe holders so that I could organize them in 
my closet and not have like shoe racks. I like them, they're just kind of awkward. So this bin right here, this big tote, that's makeup, that's miscellaneous accessories and skincare. No, I can't remember what's in there. I think it's overflow. The green one that you can't really see, that one is lip products. And then of course we do have the drawers. So I'm not completely sure. And like this stuff is just kind of spare items. So as much as I want to film it, I would end up with like six hours of footage trying to get this room put together. But you guys, this is what we are working with. This is what you see when you walk into the room. And Luke had said something about moving the table, but I, I like where it's at. He was thinking about putting it in front of the closet door, but I just, mm, I don't know that I like that. I think I like the window behind me. Let me know your thoughts. Also, nothing's permanent. Things can be moved around. Okay, you guys, that is it for this video. Honestly, I meant to do this as a vlog style, but then when I was reviewing the video, I completely forgot to do an intro and an outro. I'm trying to get better at vlog style. It's just, it's not my forte. I'm so used to sitting behind the camera at the table to do my makeup. So we'll get better at it. But you guys, that's how the room is set up so far. And there's definitely some things that need to be done. I know I need to organize my drawers and get some artwork on the walls, get my bookshelf set up. There, there's just so many things. But I thought I would give you guys a glimpse of how the room is set up so far. And I might bring you guys along on the journey when I do have to set up the drawers behind me. I'm not sure about the bookshelves because I look at it and I just feel overwhelmed knowing how many palettes I need to organize. But it might be a journey that I document for you. Let me know if it's something that you want to see. Put it in the comments. And if it is, I will record it. But you guys, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the bell for notifications of new videos. If you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Until my next video, you guys. Bye. I'll see you in the next one.